Of the um, provocative insights that you describe uh, uh, that uh, string theory can be cited as responsible for, um, one of them is a lot to do with black holes and understanding the fusion of black holes and Hawking story and quantum mechanics. And so I wanted to start by asking you, why are black holes uh, such an important terrain on which we try to understand these things? Why black holes? Why yeah. not something else? Well, sort of, as I mentioned before, they are one of the physical entities that, A, now we actually know for certain that they exist. We had a lot of circumstantial evidence, you know, 25 years ago, but now with the Event Horizon Telescope and you actually see black holes, there's absolutely incontrovertible proof that they're actually out there. And so you need to understand them. And the beautiful thing about black holes is they are ready-made laboratories that force general relativity and quantum mechanics to confront each other. So if you can fully understand black holes, that really will require you fully understanding how these two pillars of 20th century physics talk to each other. And indeed, a lot of the progress over the past 25 years has been in understanding black holes, answering questions that people asked Stephen Hawking struggled mm -hmm. with and tried to gain insight into, some of these questions are now really well understood in a way that nobody could have done without these techniques. Uh, the one that comes to mind that is so persistent uh, that Hawking kicked off in his inimical way is the uh, black hole information loss paradox. Do you want to... Uh, Try. I mean, if anyone can do it, you can do it, Brian. You mean what, us, the, what the puzzle is? Give us a concise yeah. description of the puzzle and why it was so haunting. Yeah, I mean, the, the puzzle is pretty simple to wrap your mind around. You know, we think of black holes as places in the universe where when things fall in, they can't get out. And the question that was raised was, well, if something falls in, it carries information with it. That can be literal. You can throw your, your, your phone or your laptop in, and clearly there's information there. But any physical entity carries information. It has the intrinsic information of how its own internal molecules and atoms are arranged. There's information in there. So anything that falls into a black hole carries information. The question is, is it lost from the universe once it falls into the black hole? Hawking thought the answer was yes. You know, Hawking said something to the effect of, you know, information gets caught within the curved folds within a black hole and it's simply gone. The puzzle... I mean, that would be okay in a way. Why well, would it be okay at first? In, in, in principle, the puzzle arises when you then think quantum mechanically. Quantum mechanics does not allow information to be lost. If you lose information from the universe, then the quantum equations are unable to chug forward. They grind to a halt. And so this is a real problem. If the information is lost, you sort of have to reformulate quantum mechanics, but quantum mechanics does such a wonderful job that nobody wanted to reformulate it in a manner that would allow information loss. So the puzzle for a very long time was, what happens to the information carried by things that fall into a black hole? That was the puzzle. And of course, Hawking also observed that because the black holes, in some sense, a tricky sense, where they're stealing energy from the empty space around them, are evaporating, eventually they expose this. It's a real crisis. That makes Everything it even worse. Is exposed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. So, I mean, Hawking himself, as you're pointing out, 1974 showed us that black holes are not, as we often say, completely black. Quantum mechanically, some radiation can leak out from a black hole, and that radiation, when it goes off into space, carries energy. So the black hole gets smaller and smaller and smaller as its own mass is converted to energy that races away in that radiation. When the black hole squeezes down to nothing, now the information that fell in, it seems to truly be gone, unless somehow it can come out. Hawking did not think initially that this radiation could carry out the information of what fell in. We, when I say that, I mean the royal we, the whole community of string theorists and more physicists generally speaking as well, now think that's not the case. We think the information does come out and that really emerged from thinking of things in a string theoretic context. I believe the way you phrased it was that any infalling particle leaves its essence 
imprinted on the event horizon. And that can itself and that ultimately come out. And therefore can escape because yes. it doesn't fall all the way into the black hole. So that's one of the very provocative results of string theory. It was able to get this towards some coherent description, and things have sort of um, heated up since then. But